Hi guys, Selena Walker here, naturopath living deep in nature here at Esprit de Coyde, Spirit of the Trees. And today I want to talk to you about this guy here, the stinging nettle. So here in Wales, the stinging nettle tends to be referred to as Danadal Poithion. So Danadal is the name of nettles and Poithion can sometimes be translated as um, hot guys or hot because uh, the word poith is hot. So it kind of transfers to the hot nettle, the stinging nettle. And the Latin, some of you might be aware of, of Urtica dioca, or diosa, depending on how you say it. Everyone says it differently, I tend to say it wrong. <laughs> but I like to say the different names before we start, so you know the plant that we work with. But to be honest, the stinging nettle, oop, this almost give way there. <laughs> the stinging nettle is one of the plants that most people know because she bites. And most of you might know uh, as a child being out and maybe the plant stinging you. And there's a clue in the name there, the stinging nettle. Now let's have a chat about, about her, about her medicine and how we can work together. So she tends to grow with, with there's a lot of nitrogen. So here in our land, you know, we haven't had a, a solid compost toilet for ages and by solid I mean you know a posh toilet what I would call posh and I, we pee wherever it's green and when we get visitors I say pee wherever it's green and you, you know where there's been favourite pee spots because there's lots of nitrogen there and hence lots of nettles come up but I never harvest from where we pee <laughs> I'm very clear about that so she can be used as a great green manure so any gardeners out there you can use her and make plant feed and she's great to have on the land. She's looked at as a weed, but I say she's an ally. And the reasons for that is because she'll help your plants grow, she'll help your body heal, and she can teach you a lot about your own warrior energy. And I'm going to chat about that with you now. So I've already said that she loves nitrogen, she's full of nutrients, and she's great to make a plant food for the plants. And all that you can simply do there is get a container, fill it full of nettles, singing nettles, fill it up with water and leave it brew. You'll know when it's done because it will stink. <laughs> um, you, you might have to put, put peg in your nose when you're using it and then you dilute that like you would with any plant food and use it on the garden. Now the other thing is she tends to come out in the spring. And I always think all the spring plants come out because they nourish what we call in the Chinese traditional medicine, the wood element, which is the element from the spring equinox onwards. And she's a great tonic for the spring. She's full of vitamin C, she's full of iron, and many, many other minerals. But those two are the main two that, that stand out personally for me. Another great reason she's good in the spring is because she has great antihistamine levels in there. So she will, can be a natural hay fever help or a natural help if you have allergic asthma. Um, that might be a plant that you want to connect with and find out more about. Now remember when I'm saying all the, all the reasons that I work with her, it's gonna depend on the person. Everybody that's got hay fever, everybody that's got allergic asthma has a different story, a different case. They might have got what's called a wet asthma or a dry asthma. The cough might be wet or dry. The hay fever might come out in different symptoms. So you can't just say that if you take nettle, it will heal this because that's looking as nettle as a pharmaceutical. And she's not. She will have different medicine, whether she's growing there, there, down there, and each year. So you can't look at her like that. And she has so many other functions. It's looking at how all those functions work in harmony with the person because she can also help with circulation. And that can in, hand in hand help with blood sugar because you circulate the blood sugar around the body better. She's a diuretic, which a lot of the spring plants are. And that means that she's gonna help flush out the urinary system. So great for the kidneys because she's flushing out that can help lower blood pressure as well. So it's having an understanding of how all these systems work together. Now, one way you can use nettle 
and one way that's been used a lot in the past is by whipping your body with nettle. Getting a bit kinky now. <laughs> but the, the, being serious about it, the reason you would you would purposefully sting yourself, like like some people that use um, the sting of bees, you can purposely sting yourself with nettle to stimulate your immune system. So I know a country saying is to cure your hay fever, to sting yourself every day with stinging nettle. So give that a go. She can also, the sting helps get the circulation going. And I know many people say that it can help with arthritic joints. So that might be something that you want to explore. And if she's in your garden, I say that she's calling out to you to work with and to help your body heal. Now, the other reason that nettle is great is, as I said, she's full of iron. And when you think of iron, we think of blood. So she's great for the blood. She can help with anemia. She's full of chlorophyll. So that, and that iron will really nourish your blood. And I use her um, in my mixtures for that reason. So I work with the nettle and dry her out and then put her in capsules with other plants that will help feed the blood, you know, with that iron and chlorophyll. Now, other things that you might want to work with nettle for is food. I, tend, I love nettle. Nettle is one of my favourite plants. In fact, I, I think I say that most of the videos, though, don't I? But particularly nettle for working with as medicine and food. She tastes so nourishing. And in fact, any recipe that has spinach in, you can use nettle. Now, you might be thinking, isn't that going to sting? Well, as soon as you cut the leaf, or heat the leaf, bring it to the boil, she loses her sting. So I will even use her raw in a smoothie, but make sure that smoothie is well whizzed up so all the leaves are chopped up. I'll use her in a pesto. And let's be fair, if you've got nettle in your garden, you can chop it down and she'll grow back really quickly. So she's a great one to keep using and using. And the more you cut her, the more she'll grow. So get her in your food to get that nourishment for your blood. And she just tastes amazing. You can make nettle tea as well. In fact, I think I've got a video about that, so I'll put a link in about that. You can use it as a hair rinse. So again, make a tea from nettles, and then you can simply pour it on your, on your scalp and rub it into your hair to just nourish the scalp and the hair because they'll get the circulation going in the area. And when I'm using her in food, I love her in soups. I love make nettle burgers, in curries. In fact, this time of year, she's pretty much the star of most dishes on my table. So, come to nettle, get to know nettle. Now, the last thing is about her spirit and how that spirit can affect you. So, she has a warrior energy she's good for boundaries. You know if you've crossed the boundary with nettle because she'll sting you. So if you are someone that needs to work on your boundaries, it may be time for you to work with nettle. If you are someone that needs to tune into that warrior energy, it may be time to work with nettle. And one of the ways she tests you is if I was to gently tap this leaf, she'd sting me. But if I go in with my warrior energy and grab her like that, no sting at all and you can do that I'm just going to pop the leaves there because I'll, I'll use it for the tea so with the leaves you can grab it pull grab it pull and simply no sting so if I'm harvesting for a tea a tea in the house I will simply harvest bare, bare hands and just keep grabbing until I've got a good amount for a tea if I'm harvesting like a large patch like this for medicine, I will use gloves because the sting it can get a bit too much um, if you're harvesting a large patch. And I still get stung because they're only thin gloves, but it just, you know, reduces that to some degree. But if you don't want to be stung or, or experience the sting, wear gloves when you're working with her. So hopefully that's inspired you to work with Danadal Poithion, the stinging nettle. You can work with her, as I said, in the garden, as medicine and in your food and for your warrior energy and for your boundaries. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. It really helps me get this information out there, get the plants into people's lives, get the plant medicine across the world. Because the more subscribers I have, the more YouTube pushes my channel out there. So I really, really want to thank you for helping me grow that channel and get this information out there. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you want to connect further, then head on over to my website, selenawalker.earth, and you can sign up to my free newsletter, and I'll send you hints and tips on how you can create a healthy body, a healthy mind, and a healthy planet. I'm going to carry on harvesting some nettle, make some tea, and have a moment connecting in with my own warrior energy. Big love, and I'll see you soon.